Now if you didn't necessarily want a shadow catcher, you wanted an actual plane, what you could do is you could just make a plane. Uh, it doesn't really, I mean, you can always scale it up later, but we can go ahead and have a plane in here. And we can go to File Export as an FBX, Plane FBX, and we can go to here to File, Import. And we just go ahead and grab this plane. So now I have a plane in our scene. And I think right now this plane came as a Lambert one. Again, if you just want to make a brand new material, just make a new one. You can double click it and call this plane mat. You can just drag it right onto your object here. And then with the plane mat selected, you can actually uh, do something kind of cool. Let's talk about this. Down here under extra, you can say substance and you can just bring in a substance file. So if we go back to substance, uh, we were playing around with this, this marble right here, this uh, herringbone tile. If you remember back from the earlier videos, we were opening a sample. Here's the tiling material. We just drag that right on there. Oops, let's go ahead and <laughs> let's go back to the 3D view here. There we go. And uh, we don't need any of that displacement or anything. So I'm just going to take all this height to normal stuff. I'll just go ahead and delete that. Uh, so here in substance is the result we're getting. Uh, but we can also right click this and we can say export resource. I just go ahead and throw that right on my desktop here. And on my desktop, I'm going to have a uh, Sienna Marble SBSAR. So now when we go back into Marmoset here, we can say open. We'll go to my desktop and we're just going to double click that SBSAR and it's going to load it up. And we have all of those settings available to us in Marmoset to kind of mess around with. So if we want to, we can go up here to width and we'll say we'll make this a 2048. Now we'll make this one also a 2048. So here we are, it's just sitting right there on a uh, marble slab. And if it's not tiled enough for you, you can go all the way up here to the top underneath texture and you can say, I want to tile this texture more. So you can just tile it more and more and more. Uh, you can also increase the size of this plane. You can just click the plane here and again, go in here to edit scale mode and you can just scale this thing right up here so you can get a little bit more coverage. So now we have a Terminator head sitting right on some nice tile. Of course, if you see anything weird going on, this is where you can go in here and you can like flip the Y channel on your normal map or if any of your roughness maps uh, look odd you can also go down here at the very bottom and the normal format is DirectX so if you will need to change that to OpenGL you can go ahead and change that in the uh, material as well but we'll go ahead and leave that as it is. Uh, just like anything else with a substance uh, with exposed parameters to the end user you can change the herringbone amount and the length and the marble color and all that cool stuff but I thought that was kind of a neat thing that you could bring in uh, to Marmoset and give you that effect. And just like we said before, you can take this uh, Apinator file and let's go back here to edit, turn off scale mode. So we're just in moving. So you can actually move this thing around and rotate it uh, and get any sort of cool uh, look that you're looking for.